Welcome to the Mischief. I'm Valen, and this is Sky Factory 2.5. Today, we have some things to do on the list. Uh, I think some, a little bit of tech, a little bit of upgrade, and a little bit of adventure. So, uh, let me, let me switch around and just get right into it here. Let's go straight up to the, uh, uh oh, looks like I have some wanderers getting around here. Uh, don't know how that happens, but, you know, it, it sometimes happens, I guess. There's something that I'm missing around there, down there. Ah, doesn't matter. Let's get into the comments. I've got a bunch. Um, actually, before then, let me have some steak and chips. Nom, nom. Love me some steak and chips. All right, so uh, we have... A lot of people uh, came up with suggestions primarily for the same stuff, which is fine because this is what I asked for. Uh, we have new co new commenter Glarvel, which I put the sign up here already, uh, and you also get another eye uh, an, an emoticon as well, because you you pretty much uh, did a couple things there, and we're we're just gonna get right into that. Uh, there was actually two things. So one got you the sign, the other one gets you the emoticon. Uh, and we're gonna, let's see, what is, it was, well, I should say that uh, Glarvel sent me a, a little video uh, showing some of his uh, setup that he has for uh, uh, a couple things going on there. One of which is the, um, his creation for um, making cobble, uh, you know, using like, uh, in my case, I'm using like uh, crafters and stuff like that um, for generating it into the deep dark. Now, I'm not even sure if I have that sitting around. It, it feels like it's been so long since I've played this. Uh, <laughs> I did have a little bit of time away from it, but uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, he gave me some suggestions on how to do that. And um, what I'm going to do is replace, uh, to give an example here, any um, speed upgrades with world interaction upgrades instead because uh, that's obviously going to be a lot quicker and faster. Um, now there was more than Glarvel that uh, suggested that that was also uh, Feisty Badger which of course uh, I gotta gotta say that the the title Feisty Badger it, it just makes me smile so uh, I always do the hashtag for some reason. There we go one more and there Misty Badger gets an emoticon as well. And that was just for the uh, interaction upgrade suggestion, which I, I think I've got a little bit of Lapis. So let's see. Yep, I got a little bit of Lapis. Um, might as well take a bunch of those. Uh, I believe I should be able to... Um, let's go up to the main area, and, and I'll actually craft these up real quick. And then we'll get back into some more comments. Uh, but uh, let's see world interaction upgrade which I think I need to make a whole bunch of uh, pickaxes so oh that that just kind of got depressing real fast let's make a bunch of sticks wow and I ran out of sticks okay <laughs> Let, let's uh, take a look and see I've got lots of wood okay so <laughs> don't don't uh, no comments on that one folks all right so let's uh, get rid of this put that back in there split it Oh my gosh. There we go. Get a bunch of sticks. Now I can put these back in and make some more of these. Uh, unless I run out of iron. Did I run out of iron? I'll be darn. I guess I need to smelt up a little bit of iron. I'll pull out a few of these heads while I'm at it. Alright, I'll be right back, folks. Okay, so I found where all the iron was. Uh, I, I had left it sitting down here, uh, coming out of the uh, the smeltery, and I never came down to pick it up. I think that finished all of it there. That should be... Yeah, that's all of it. So uh, I've got plenty of iron now. Uh, in fact, let's just put it all in the system and uh, hop upstairs and then see what I can make for more of these. Uh, there we go. And then I just click a whole bunch in there. And then I can just put all these in, you know, it, it might be faster. I think I can... Nope, I just did the wrong thing there. <laughs> there we go, put all those in, and then just uh, wait for these to work through. I can actually put these up front. There we go, that, that, that solved it. Now, I can put these in as well. And I should be able to make a few more. Uh, I know I, I I don't need to do this this method, but I'm I'm going to anyway. So there now, world interaction upgrade. Let's see. There we go. 
Should have plenty of iron, lots of lapis, and let's make 38 of them. That sounds perfect. All right, so let's see about this making a bunch at the moment. I'm going to take out all these uh, upgrades, and we're just going to stack in world interaction upgrades. And it is currently going pretty good. Uh, I feel I need a few more, though. So I'm going to max out this to a full 64, and then put the excess speed upgrades uh, elsewhere. There we go. That should be the last five here. And we're just going to plop that in, and there we go. Now we should be getting massive amounts of cobble uh, much faster than I was before with the uh, speed upgrades, and therefore that should help uh, increase my lava production uh, quite a lot. Now let's get into the next comment, which deals with a similar topic, and in fact uh, the reason why Glarvo also got a, a second mention is the uh, lo moving lava buckets. Now I... I've t I got a lot of different suggestions on this one, uh, like using a fluid transposer, which I already have one, uh, a liquid crafter, an autonomous activators. Uh, there's a whole bunch of stuff involved in that. And I'm thinking I'm going to use some of yours, some of mine, and mix things together in a really weird way, uh, just because I figured it would be interesting to use something a little bit new. But um, what I had in mind was an ender tank. Uh, now, oops, uh, let's get this. There we go. I already took the uh, preparations to get the recipe ready. Uh, so I've got that. I've already made one and uh, labeled it all red because I figured, you know, lava. Well, probably orange would have been better for Minecraft lava, but eh, anyway. Um, so I thought I would do that, but then I would also do a different kind of tank. I would do the Ender IO fluid tank, like Glarval was suggesting in the little video he sent to me. And it's not too bad to make one of those things a really easy recipe, uh, plus the generator that I currently have. Now, the reason that I made the ender tank is because I have my lava production over here. And I have my energy storage and use over here. And I don't really want to, like, mix the two together. So what I did is I put an ender tank here with all red. And I figured I could put another one over here and uh, use this one. So I, I think the fluid tank should be all right on top. And then I can put the uh, ender tank behind that, I think. And then I just put a bucket in here. Let's grab a bucket and see if this is going to work. I haven't tested this. I should have, but I have not. So let's see about doing this. I'm going to stop standing on this thing. I'm going to want it to have an input on the back here. Pull. And then at the bottom, push. And then it's going to have push-pull on the bottom as well. So therefore, the lava bucket should come back through. I don't know. It, it should. Let's see here. Oh yeah, it already worked. So it is currently doing the thing. And once this is not needed anymore, which obviously I have a lot of power gen being created already. I mean, you can see here it, it's just fluctuating around the zero mark, which is fine. Uh, I also fixed my water wheel because it wasn't uh, maximized out. But now it's maximized and I have the uh, lava being generated here. This is pretty good. So I now have... Uh, Pretty good. It's R 80 RF per tick. You know, obviously I would like a higher RF per tick uh, creation, yeah. but right now it also is making yeah. like over a million RF per bucket of lava that is being generated off of there. And I mean, I only have an 11 million RF storage, so this is really good. I can leave this here. It's uh, doing the thing. It's not going to like explode into flames, so I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. In fact, strange thing is... Yeah. I don't know how it's actually getting lava, now that I think about it. This is getting lava from where? From the back. The tank is empty. I didn't actually label it red, but uh, I guess I probably should at this point. <laughs> that seems like a little bit of a glitch. Uh, oh well. But hey, it's... It's working all right, and that was my solution for this. I just wanted to try something a little, you know, I could have done like a tesseract or that or a fluid transposer like you guys were saying, you know, but I figured, you know, I will just move the lava where I want it to be and use an ender tank, which is really uh, cheap and effective compared to a tesseract or something of that uh, sort. But hey, uh, that 
was another one. And there was a lot of people for the uh, lock, lava bucket moving uh, suggestion. And I could uh, increase the uh, the number of those things down there so that I get 80 RF per tick per uh, item. And it's getting tons from just one lava each or from one lava bucket each. But I think I'll just leave it at one for the moment. And we're going to, uh, let's see, we took care of Glarval. We've got um, a few others. Let's see. Karuku gets one here. And this finishes off Karuku's uh, first level uh, here. And there we go. Of course, we had Ravin as well. For those that don't know who Ravin is, you should by now. Because he's a regular commenter. Always in the Discord. Always helping out with stuff. Very helpful guy. And then we also have... Captain Spud 99 and uh, yeah you're getting pretty close there Captain Spud not long before you'll be able to uh, get your avatar up here and then of course we have yet again Feisty Badger who is uh, starting to rack him up now that uh, now that he's on a roll I'm assuming it's a he but we'll find out here or well we don't need to find out but Feisty Badger is starting to rack him up uh, and then we have one last one which was more a practical thing and for anybody else that might be playing this pack and that was from uh, Kendall Silver he was suggesting that uh, you don't use the chicken chunk chunk loader plus the FTB utils chunk loader and what that means is let's uh, bring up the chunk loader here you have your chicken chunks chunk loader and chicken chunks spot loader which the chunk loader will uh, load multiple chunks at once, uh, whereas the spot loader will only load one chunk. Uh, on top of that, you have your ability to chunk load areas with the control key on a claimed area and right clicking. And uh, then you can always, you know, uh, oops, <laughs> reclaim these by control left clicking and chunk loading the area with FTB utils. Now don't chunk load both at the same time because it ended up uh, corrupting his world and he had to like use some kind of utility program to uh, remove the uh, chicken chunks chunk loader. So double chunk loading is a bad thing. Remember that. Remember. And for that, Kendall Silver gets yet another only one away from getting his avatar display. Excellent, excellent. At least uh, that's if he wants to. Otherwise, he's at least going to get some bling blocks, but uh, we'll see what we can come up with. So I am now done with this. I have my steak and chips. And I was thinking, you know, I've been putting it off for several episodes now, and I've got some stuff going on here. I, I, I have lots of things that I want to get into, but I've got something just that's just kind of hanging over my head, and that is the fact that I have not done anything to fight the wither and I was like all right well there are two things that I'm gonna need one is to upgrade my armor uh, because right now there's like no protection on it at all uh, not even this I mean there's soul bound on this but there's no protection on any of it so I'm gonna need some dark steel uh, I'm gonna need a whole stack of it actually so that I can make this plus a uh, a book let's see no a book and quill which is made like so there we go oh coal powder. I didn't realize that. And then I'm going to need a bunch of levels. I'm not sure how many levels I need, so I will find out here in just a moment. 20. That's not bad. And then I'm going to need another bunch to uh, duplicate the enchantment. So let's start off with turning that electromagnet back on. Let's take out, turn it all in. One, two. There we go. And back to the main area. Insert this stuff. And the idea is I get protection four, which is going to be very useful. Very useful. Now I can put this on here. I'm going to want to get myself 40 more levels so that I can duplicate this book. And we go one, two, three, four. And back down to the main area. Duplicate this. Take this and put it up here. Let's see if I can line it up. There we go. And oh, am I out of am I out of ink? Oh shoot. Let's see here. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> do, <laughs> do, do I have any in my fishery? I, I don't know if I do. I thought that I had plenty. So there's a, a little little snag. I, I don't actually have any ink um, in my fishery or otherwise. <laughs> I guess I used it up previously and I haven't been able to replace it. Uh, and that is required for uh, this to function. So I, I either have to make a lot of books at, um, what is it, 20 levels plus a stack of dark steel each 
for one, two, three, four uh, copies here. Then all the levels to apply those to the armor. Ooh, I, I don't know that I have enough dark steel or enough levels stored up because I was only in the 50s last I knew. Um, so uh, I'm going to look into some other options. And that's going to be the auto disenchanter because I have a lot of enchanted books with some of these enchantments on it. So I might as well try and get this set up. Uh, let's make myself a uh, auto disenchanter. Mm. Disenchanter, and I've used these before in combination with uh, many different things, and it, it's really, really handy. Um, so, machine frame, yeah, that's all pretty simple stuff. I might be able to make this already. Oh, I'm a book short. All right, let's make a book. Can I make a book? I know where to get a book, a place where I don't have any ink right now. So let's uh, just kind of, give me, give me, thank you. And I'm going to take just there we go. I'm going to leave seven books here for now. There, come on. There. And I'll put the other two back in this inventory for the moment. And then I'm also going to need, I think that b basic uh, disenchanter, I'm going to need the basic machine frame. Do I have a tin gear? Nope. I sure don't. Let's make tin gear. Now, basic machine frame. Auto Disenchanter. There we go. And I can just plop this down on uh, the line. Uh, I should grab a chest as well. Uh, just so I have a little something to work with here. I'm going to grab two just in case I need an input and an output. Uh, somewhere I can... Hey, this looks like a familiar spot. Let's see now. I'm going to put um, this down here. And it's going to repeat no. That is fine. So I'm going to put a chest on top so that it will have some place to exit to. And now I'm going to go get some of those enchanted books that I got out of the fishery. All right, so not all those books were uh, multiple enchantments. Like some of them were like this, where you only have one. Others had this capitalist one. Nice. Uh, so I'm going to take those that have multiple enchantments on them break them down into separate enchantments. So let's see here. First and foremost, I want, let's see here, Feather Falling, Fire Protection, Sharpness, and Protection. Those are really good ones here. Put this in there, and it should, uh, as it starts progressing, do the thing and uh, eventually get us this uh, enchantment split off into two. But in order to do so, I'm going to need some books to uh, put it in there. So guess what? I'm going to take those books back that I'm not using here. And give me, give me, give me the books. <laughs> I keep hitting the wrong button, I think. So let's put the books in there. There we go. And then it's going to process this. Eventually, it will take a little time, I guess. Repeat yes, repeat no. Because there's only two on there. If, it, if you choose repeat yes, it should take multiples off. Like this one here, it would break it into three different books. But it's going to need a, a place to uh, put the, the books. This is why I brought down the, uh, the chests, just in case. And I'll put this one here just so that I have a place to put all the rest of these books for the moment. And I could always pipe them in and stuff. But uh, it should be good to go at this point. So in my previous experience, it did not do this. It would actually take one book down, it would have a little uh, progress bar that would that would go, and then it would shoot the other one down here. But it does not seem to be doing so, and it seems to be idle, though it maybe it'll take a little time. I'm not really sure in this case. But uh, I guess we'll find out uh, in the end. But there's something else that's more important than the uh, armor uh, protection, and that is going to be uh, some kind of health regen in this case. So. I need to make some potions to do that. I'm going to need a brew stand. Uh, I'm going to go for the traditional Minecraft brew stand because I'm not into Batania in this one uh, just yet. Though the vat, no, we're not doing vats. Uh, so I'm going to just put, I probably already made one of these before. I, I can't remember if I did or not, but I'm going to put it down here because, well, it looks like it would fit proper. Uh, I'm going to grab all those water bottles that I got out of the fishing machine here. Grab those. There we go. And I can just put these straight in, grab a little bit of nether wart, and already start making my awkward potions. And I'm going to try and make some stuff that's going to help me with uh, offsetting the wither uh, damage, as well as uh, potentially 
I don't know, maybe help me kill the wither a little quicker. Alright, to start off with, some blaze powder, because we're going to make some strength potions. After that I think I might go for something to uh, heal myself with, because, uh, well, obviously killing it quicker is going to be important, but I am going to want to make sure to live long enough to do so. Luckily I've got some gas tears, I'm going to want to take a couple of those, some redstone, a couple of those, some gunpowder, a couple of those. I think that'll make me a bunch of uh, regen 2 effects. So let's see, we've got potion of strength. Excellent. Now I'm going to need to upgrade that. So let's make it a little bit more beefy by putting in some glowstone. It'll make it uh, strength 2 for a minute and a half. Then I'll start making up my uh, healing potions and we'll be good to go. There we go. Strength 2. Lovely. Put these in. A little bit of that. And start up the healing. So I can always change this up later, but I have at least a Protection 3 book here because I am not getting things to function the way that I thought that they would. Uh, but this is going to add in my Soulbound plus my Protection 3. And there we go. I now have at least a minute bit more of protection versus the Wither for any kind of uh, his damaging attacks. I have some Strength 2 potions. Uh, potions of regeneration that I can drink, plus one emergency, one that I can splash on the ground if I need to. Um, I would have gone for regen 2, which is probably a smarter choice, but it it only lasts like 10 seconds or something. So I'd, I was like, you know, it's better if I go with these, I guess. But I also had a, a speed potion sitting in the unit there, so I went with that. And then I've got a bunch of splash instant health 2 for emergencies and uh, one steak and chips just in case, though I'm, I'm not very hungry about it. So, um, obviously if I die, bad things happen. So, uh, yeah, well, well, hopefully I don't die. I don't, I don't know. We'll find out. Uh, oops, and I just picked up some rotten flesh. Oh, well, it's, it's not going to be the end of the world here. Let's go into the nether and see what we can kill. Yes, I am wearing my jetpack, just making extra, extra sure. <laughs> All right, so um, I don't remember where that... There it is, over this way, Ugh, which means that there's so many bad guys around. This is probably a bad idea, bad idea, because there are so many of them. But I've got my magnet just because of this whole idea, in fact. Wow, look at them all. All right, well, let's uh, start thinning them out a little bit here, get rid of some of these uh, spiders so that I don't have to deal with those at least. Uh, and then these dogs. Um, I don't think that the mobs will spawn too close to me. I don't, I didn't think at least. Man, there's so many, so many pigmen. If I hit one of these pigmen, I'm dead uh, during this battle. So maybe I just do it now. Oh my gosh, there are so many pigmens. All the pigmens, they're so upset with me. All right. That's a little better. We'll just get rid of you guys up on the edge. Clear out this area, because this is where I'm going to launch it. Right on top of this area here, I think. Let's see if I can actually hit these guys way over here. I don't know. They're, they're a little too far. There we go. Get out of here. I don't want any. No thank you. Okay. So I have stuff floating above me because I've been picking up a whole bunch of junk. Man. So much junk, but this is all right. This is a good spot. Uh, so let's put this down here. One, two, three, and four. And oh, I see a visitor trying to get out of here. Uh, and then we're going to do the heads. One, two, and before I put the third one down, I'm thinking I'm going to do my potion of strength, which these are strength two for a minute and a half. And that's precisely what I'm actually, you know, I might do this while I'm flying, waiting for him to spawn in. And then I'm going to try and keep him over this area so that I don't lose the drops if he, uh, if he dies. I guess I'll just do this, this, and then I'll, I can do the speed potion real quick. That's, that's no bother. There we go. And now I can put this down. And he has head, he has weird choppa head, choppa axes on him. I'm going to start drinking, start drinking, and get rid of these, and hope he starts uh, just killing things that are not me. So uh, 
Which he is. This is good news. Uh, let's start shooting him. Let's see. Oh, I've got his attention. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Let's see if I can hit him with, with the sword. Oh, wow. Wow. The sword just does the trick. <laughs> Let's toss this in the air, give myself a quick health boost, and look, there's there's chests below. <laughs> all right. Um, that wasn't too bad at all. Whoop! I say this as as I'm about to be set on fire without fire protection. So let's let's head back out of here. All right, time to go. We're back home. Looks like magical me was a lot more strong, a lot more powerful than I ever had imagined. Oh my goodness, it, that was pretty fantastic. I also I got a couple pride shards. Whoa, that are shiny, shiny. Oh, I got Zavikio Essence. Maybe it's worthwhile fighting this guy over and over again after all. I got that nether star that I was looking for. And of course, the Division Sigil, which, oh, oh, I'm looking forward to uh, exploding myself soon with, with the Division Sigil. So this is good. But what I would, I would like to... Uh, uh, set you guys a task, uh, it, and it's specifically dealing with the Nether, uh, or not the Nether, the the Wither. Uh, allow me to um, uh, talk to you face to face here while while the planets are spinning behind me. Um, what do you think is the best way that you have come up with for uh, spawn killing the uh, the Wither? I am now, I have now gone and done it officially, and now I'm looking to uh, kill him lots more and get more of those nether stars and his other drops that he may have. Specifically, I can get Zavikio Essence and get a jump start and some better armor. Everybody wants me to have that Zavikio armor, right? I just need 24. Come on, come on. I need 23 more. So, uh, yeah, I look forward to your suggestions on uh, Wither Boss spawning and uh, potential uh, loots galore from that. So, hey! Leave a message down in the comments, and we'll see about what I can do to uh, kill myself some withers non-stop repetitively. It doesn't have to be automated. I would prefer to just, like, pull a lever and then it happens, uh, you know, shortly after or something like that, and then I can do it again. Because I only want to do it, like, X amount of times. I don't want to have it constantly doing over and over and over automatically. Um, well, I don't know. Maybe I do. Well, let's hear what you guys have to say first. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Give a like if you did. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, as always, don't forget to share the mischief with others if you think they'll enjoy the content. Until next time, folks, I'll see ya.